And we're live! Oh my lord, I hit the button the wrong way. All right, all right folks, let's start here with the live stream. I thought I had the timer going, but <laughs> I didn't. All right, so we're gonna do a quick live stream. Let me just get set up here with the uh, Chromebook. So we're gonna be talking about the emergency uh, kit uh, that I've been using for the last little while. And I'm just going to uh, make sure that I don't miss any chat comments. And I thought I had, <laughs> I thought I had my, my timer set up so I can delay the start, but. All right, what we got here? So, all right, so that is set up. There we go. How about this one? Is this gonna work? There we go. Ah, there we go, live, finally. Who's watching, anybody watching? Okay. Public view, perfect. Okay, so what, um, so we're gonna go over the uh, emergency kit. I got the chat here. Sorry about this, when you're doing it live. Um, so back in the fall, I decided to set up uh, a uh, emergency kit. Kind of, it used to be the 72 hour kit, uh, but it ended up being a fairly good 24 hour kit. Three of us here in the house plus the dog. So um, I wanted to really go over the contents and let you know how it worked out. Because the biggest thing is that we actually ended up using this a number of times and it was really good to have the kit ready like they say to you usually so so uh, i'm just going to go over uh what we did with the kit the beauty with these emergency kits is that uh, you can customize it the way you want so a lot of these contents uh, are customized what i think would work good uh, but you do have your standard few items here so let's um Let's go over the process. So when we were watching the, the, the hurricanes uh, down in the States, Texas and Florida, wife was turned to me and she said, hey, do we have a plan? Because if you notice a lot of these hurricane tracks that go up the Eastern seaboard, well, they end up here. Or during the winter, we have the nor'easters and, and all that stuff. And I looked at her and I said, mm, let me, um, let me uh, work on that. So I use a nice little publication from uh, our emergency preparedness department here in Canada. It's called, uh, I believe it's called getprepared.gc.ca or .ca. And they have a nice publication, which is your 72 hour emergency kit. And it's a nice printout. And, uh, and that's pretty much what I followed. I'm not, I haven't geared up this kit for like prepping or zombie apocalypse or anything else silly like that. Uh, and that's it. It's, overly silly but I said okay I need basics that I can leave in a good area that I can moments notice grab it grab what I need or if we need to leave the house evacuate I got stuff here that could last the three of us uh, for about 24 hours or so so uh, that's basically it so the three areas that I started was uh, know your region right so we're here on the east coast uh, right here, we're only a couple kilometers from the ocean, so uh, we have a specific type of weather event. So I, I'm not going to worry about a tornado uh, if I was in Kansas out here. Same thing as Kansas, they're not going to worry about storm surge, which we're now getting a little bit more and more now. So, And as we're doing this, uh, if you want to put me uh, or send me a little chat, I'm just, this is why I'm staring at the, the monitor here is to um, look at any chats but basically know your region and the get prepared site and i'll put the links in the description of the video once i'm done the live stream but basically uh it has a nice database of show of, of the various emergencies that has occurred across canada and you can see what type of events are more typical in your region so for us it's basically power outages uh, hurricane or tropical storm or high winds. Uh, we got uh, storm surge. Uh, you know, we have also man-made emergencies, chemical spills. Uh, we do have a naval base here in Halifax. So there's that type of 
uh, concerns or emergencies that could happen here. So know your area, know what type of events you have, and, uh, and then two, make a plan, right? So uh, where do I work? Where does the missus work? Where does the child go to school? How can we get there if the highway is closed? Uh, how quickly we can get there? Do we have a backup? Do we have somebody that we can call to pick her up if needed? That kind of stuff. And really what would happen? So, you know, for winter, we got a nor'easter. We just had a couple of nor'easters the last couple of weeks. Very high wind events. We would have power outages. Pretty straightforward type of event. Hunker down, and especially in winter, we can hunker down and put on a sweater and we can you know, use the kit and work it. What happens if we needed to evacuate? Well, if you look on the map to see what Nova Scotia looks like, basically the goal is to have at least one vehicle prepped with gas so that we can just get in and go and, uh, and all that stuff. And the third thing that the uh, document that they had is to make a kit. So we're gonna go over that now. And if you have any questions or comments, put them in in the in the chat and we'll go through it i'm using the uh fall raven maxi pack this is a uh, 18 liter pack it has a zipper that you can expand it uh, another nine liters up to 27 liters it has a nice little handle you have your back strap here and you can see it has a nice very rectangular um shape to it uh, so it's easy to slide underneath, let's say, uh, a seat or a table. This is located in the house, in the living room, actually. Uh, so it's right here, so that if something happens, lights go out or whatever, it's there, it's in the high traffic here, that we can grab it and go. So, with that being said, let's go over uh, the contents of the bag. Okay, and, and basically, you don't have to spend a lot of money on this. You can probably assemble the core items of the kit by just going down in the basement and taking a look at stuff. Especially if you have older camping gear, outdoor hiking gear, you can probably uh, leverage uh, that. Uh, there's a few things that I did buy. There's a few items that I did purchase along with medication uh, for the first aid kit and a couple of uh, the food items. So I say I spent about uh, a good $80, $90 for those items. Um, and, and we'll go over that one. And I've added a few things since here. So, all right. So here in the zip pocket, we've got lots of lights, headlamps, uh, multi-tool, another flashlight, Headlamps, headlamps, lots of light. <laughs> another head, another flashlight, lots of lights. One of the things that we found when we actually were using the kit is the availability of lights and having fresh batteries for the lights, have everything topped up. So you have your artificial lights, which is good. Also candles. And I have some candles here. So just regular cheap wax, non-scented candles uh, helps out with two. All right, a couple uh, protein bars right here. Another light, kind of diffuser light. Lots of light, lots of light. Gotta have a Snickers bar. What else is in here? Pencil. And I've got a right in rain sheets of paper. I don't have the little notepad, but these are actually write in rain letter size paper. And I've written down on here expiry dates for the food and for the medication so that I know what's coming up. And I check this once in a while and see what's coming up. And I can see here that uh, in June, these protein bars and Snickers will need to get changed over and one more thing. So I'll be having me some snacks back in June. I'll maybe move this to my hiking pack. So. And then I also have the medication I have in my uh, first aid kit and with the expiry dates. You can probably leverage this information in your, in your smartphone too to set up reminders to switch things over. You can do that, pencil. So that's what's in here in our pocket. So again, the great thing about the kit is that you can customize it. There are a number of core items 
And I, ref I reference the Canadian Get Prepared site quite a lot. But I found that I looked at the uh, Red Cross and the States and a few other emergency organization websites. And I'd say between Canada and US, the information is about 95% the same. It's just some minor things uh, as, as it deals with your locality, specific local numbers, specific local organizations, that kind of stuff. All right, so the contents of the bag. So again, we have a number of core items and then a few extra items that I've added in to, uh, to, to what I think I might need given the type of events we might have in our, in our region. And, uh, and I've changed some things around. I'll give some comments on what worked well. So again, lighting, can't have enough uh, lighting, artificial, and also some candles. We also got some uh, Mountain House food. That's good. Get some of the tastier ones. Uh, so again, at first I started, like I said earlier, at first I started uh, being, trying to aim for a 72 hour bag. But I realized once this got full, filled up, at the very least, I got a good 24 hour, maybe 36 hour bag, right? Uh, the assumption is that uh, we're using this in the house and if I need to, take this with me. All right, other thing that uh, I mentioned here, little uh, transistor radio. And this is a new addition to the pack. I had, and I featured this in previous videos, this Eton uh, FRX2. It has a little crank radio and the weather and AM, FM. Uh, I've had it for a few years, never really was in a situation to use it. Uh, this year we had a couple good storms, a couple good power outages. You want the radio, but don't get this one. It's garbage. It's not good. Uh, the big problem uh, is that uh, there's supposed to be an internal battery in here that will at least keep things that you can charge and at least have a radio for a while. Uh, not working. The crank is really one minute for one minute ratio, so you'll be constantly cranking uh, this thing. Not very good. I would much rather find a good old fashioned simple transistor radio or digital radio AM FM double A batteries. A lot of my stuff here is either double A or triple A's. Uh, you can try to get stuff into one type of battery. So, um, so we got that going on. So just a simple radio, right? You get your smartphone, but you want to manage your power on that. So, because it doesn't take long to drain your smartphone when you're constantly checking Twitter or, or what have you there. Uh, extra batteries, like I said, double A's, triple A's, some more food. Some snacks, trail mix, water jug. This is a little bleach bottle for if you want to uh, disinfect anything. You can put, it's empty. I, I, I haven't had a chance to put in uh, bleach or, or, or whatever other mixture. Uh, you've seen this before. This is my solar kit. So solar pack and it's mostly it contains every possible cable that we use for our smartphone or charging devices so apple cables usb cables extra rechargeable batteries we've got a few extra power sticks uh rechargeables and and, and even a little ipod uh for for music and we have our solar panel that will recharge it so you notice I don't have the inReach in this bag either. So that inReach is behind here, but at least I got power. And once in a while, uh, I double check, make sure everything's topped off with the battery. So all the rechargeables and the power banks are charged up. All right, what else do we got in here? Uh, more lighting, again, more lighting. This is the Luminade uh, Lantern. And this is the old version. I think they moved on to a newer version. You can see, I don't know if you can see the LED light. It's green. And that indicates that it's uh, full or it's charged up. This works really good. So if you can get your hands, if you can still get your hands on one of these uh, lanterns that you uh, inflate, definitely get this for kids. They love this stuff. Uh, it really uh, it's kind of like gives them that camping experience. So this is a pretty cool item works really good so definitely 
if anything, I've seen a, a lot of people use this for, for hiking, camping. I've used it for camping. Uh, but for your kit, this is, this is really good. All right, what else we got? Uh, we got a collapsible bowl. And one of the things that uh, I didn't, after we've had a couple storms and actually used this, one of the things I didn't have was really anything for the dog, right? So a bowl for the dog. And you notice here we have a lot of food items. I don't have anything for the dog. So uh, part of the go kit, if I need to go, is take the bag. We also have the jugs of water nearby and I need a smaller bag uh, for the dog stuff. So some dry kibble enough for a few days, that kind of stuff. But at least he can drink water, so for that. Uh, I've added a knife in here originally, but uh, I feel that uh, a multi-tool Leatherman will probably do the trick. So this part will come out. Um, I don't see the need for that. Uh, I might swap the multi-tool that I have in here. This is a juice. Leatherman juice, I might put a wave or uh, something bigger in there. Life straw for water filtration. So um, we are pretty good water-wise. Uh, we got our city water. Uh, it might go, who knows? We haven't, it hasn't gone yet in our outages. Uh, or we need to take this with us to go on the road. We need to evacuate. We need something for, for water filtration. So we have that just in case. These life straws I think they're fantastic. The capacity and, uh, and usage, pretty basic. And uh, for the price, uh, it's worthwhile. Uh, we got a couple of sporks for eating the food. We got some more candles. So tea lights, you know, something will last six to eight hours. Um, I have a lot of lighting, but tea lights, in a couple spots, bathroom, kitchen in the house when the power's out, comes in very nice. I have a couple of space blankets. Again, winter, nor'easter, no power, temperature goes down, uh, or we're on the road, we have to evacuate, uh, or uh, we're driving, when doing some winter driving and there's a storm on the highway and we get stranded on the highway. Space blankets to, to warm us up. Doesn't take much. These are stuff that we received. Uh, this one was, uh, if you're a runner, you'll get space blankets in your run kit or at the race, you can keep it. And then this is another one. I forget where I got this one from. But. Uh, I've got one of these Bear Grill survival bags that has a whole bunch of stuff. Knife, fishing hook, stuff to make fire. I don't know, whatever, a whole bunch of stuff in here. So got that, that might come in handy. Uh, I've got my stove. And you've seen this before. Uh, this is where I put my little zebra, my zebra pot and uh, fuel. And I got my stove so I can boil up water. Uh, got some stormproof matches. Got the lighter, big lighter. Got a towel. And uh, we got uh, our fuel canister in here. So a very simple little cook set. Nice and uh, Nice and compact to boil water, filter water, whatever you need to do. And last thing in here, this is another item for water. This is the emergency water bag. This is two gallons, two gallon uh, folding uh, bag. So depending on the situation where you gotta, you know, let's say that there's a water's out or somewhere and you have to get water from a truck, get that in here. Get that. And finally, the first aid kit. First aid kit. So this is a standard uh, St. John Ambulance uh, first aid kit. I've added uh, quite a few things in here. Uh, again, uh, mostly drugs to, uh, for the little one, uh, stuff that we can use for the dog also, and a few other items. So it's a standard kit, the stuff that I've added. Uh, and uh, thanks to some of the guys on, on YouTube that was doing uh, some of these videos, I believe Steve uh, from Adventure Outdoors, he did a video of this and a few others, Econo Challenge and a couple more. Shit kits. <laughs> These great single use uh, packets when you need to do number two, which includes everything that you need. Toilet paper, wipes, a disposal bag, and hand sanitizer. So I got 
uh, three or four in here. So hopefully we only need to go once, but we have that. <laughs> uh, then we got uh, stuff for the, for the kid. So Benadryl, Child, Advil, Afterbite. Uh, we got uh, adult Tylenol and uh, what else? Advil. We got the antibiotic ointment or polysporin uh, that everybody can use, including the dog. Uh, what else we got? We got the uh, thermometer, wipes, some additional wipes, and some other disinfectant stuff. So, and then the rest of your standard kit. So that is uh, pretty much what we've done with the first aid kit. And again. Uh, you know, when you quickly add up some of the medication, this is where you, you bring up and the fact that you got to monitor uh, your expiry date so that you can at least keep tabs on that. Or if it starts to get old or a year old, then you can maybe start using it. That's kind of what my plan is. So that, that's what we've done with the first aid kit. Didn't have to use this yet. So, so that's good. So we have this here. So, how did everything work out? So, like I said, we had a couple of nor'easters. Uh, we did have a uh, power outage earlier in the fall, earlier in the season. And what worked, what didn't work? Well, the additional lighting definitely helped. The mixture of flashlights and tea lights and all, also big block candles uh, or lanterns. It's fantastic, works really good, especially if you're stuck in the house. Uh, the other thing that worked out really good is the smartphone uh, that you have. Utilize the smartphone, especially Twitter is a great uh, tool to use. You can customize lists so you can have a specific emergency uh, Twitter list that you can monitor what's going on in terms of news, traffic, uh, government responses from EMO, that kind of stuff. I do have uh, the list that I usually uh, send out, and I'll add that in the description. That's very good to use. A uh, couple things that didn't work out well, like I mentioned, this specific radio. Don't get this, not good. Just just get yourself a just get yourself a nice cheap transistor radio, and, and you're good. Two, think about your your batteries, right? Uh, I would rather spend. Uh, a few dollars to get a couple extra double A's or triple A's rather than investing in uh, rechargeable double A's or triple A's. Uh, what I would rather do is uh, take a few hours once in a while and charge up battery banks. So again, this would top up a phone 100%, so I can have a couple days of phone. And I'd rather top these up. And it, depending on the situation, after the storm, usually it's nice clear blue sky, just like a nor'easter. You can use the solar panel to charge up whatever you need. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically it. So this is pretty much, I think it's okay. It's solid. Uh, it works. We have been using it. Uh, it hasn't been, we haven't used it in a serious situation, but uh, we're uh, pretty good. We've got a chat here coming from uh, Mike. Mustang over in Morocco. He says here, always good to have an emergency kit ready to go. He, he also has one. So thanks, uh, Blue, Bluefin. Well, uh, thanks for watching, commenting. So the biggest thing, yeah. So what else? <clears throat> what else did, did it work? The bag worked really good. Having it easily accessible in the high traffic area of the house was good. Even when I was away, it was a nor'easter coming in the middle of the week. I was on the road, and basically I told my wife, just get the bag, everything's there. And sure enough, she needed the flashlight, right? So, uh, what else? Uh, what else we got? Portable power. Portable power. So I have a couple battery banks. I got some extra batteries. One of the things that I would, wouldn't mind getting my hands on is something a little higher capacity. And um, you remember those, you know, uh, those big battery boxes they used to boost your car, your truck, whatever. Now they've kind of gone down in size quite a bit. So I don't know if you can leverage something like that to have a little extended use of power. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, water supply. So again, uh, we have a few jugs of water that we have to keep track of and manage. 
like I said, if, if there's a situation where you're stuck at home, uh, here we're on city water, but if you're out uh, on sewer and septic or well water, then you have to you have to do the usual stuff. So we're both, me and my wife, are both from the country, or yeah, yeah from the country. So uh, when we did have outages, we had to do something with water. So especially my wife, she she definitely has that as a as an OCD, so really needs to do stuff. So what I don't have here is we used uh, our orange Rubbermaid five gallon uh, cooler, right? The Home Depot uh, Gatorade cooler that you see at football games or you see at Home Depot. Uh, I basically filled that up with water. Again, we have a little one. It's, it makes them think that we're kind of camping because everything's dark, got to use flashlights, drink water out of the cooler. Uh, instead of uh, the tap so that actually worked out really well so um, you know depending on the situation you know if we need to hunker down at home we can fill that up uh, or uh, you know if we have to leave or leave and, and get our water filled at a station or something we do have the bags for that uh, let's see what else we got here what else happened here I'm just going over I do have a post on the website that you can go over and go through this stuff. Uh, food. All right, food. I do have a number of long-term food items here. Mountain House and a few other bars and stuff like that. We also keep in our pantry a number of items that we can go to first, you know, such as the, the bag of rice, uh, the beans, the Chef Boyardee, you know, craft dinner, that kind of stuff. Uh, our menu has to be kid-friendly. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, so we got to work through that stuff. Anyway, that is it. That is it. What else? You got any other comments going on? That's about it. Oh, and also, if you got to stay home for a few days, make sure you have enough beverages. And uh, that was my mistake. I didn't plan according. I planned everything else good, but didn't have enough beer for the outage. So. All right, I think that's it. Thanks a lot, everybody. Let me know what you think of this kit, what items I am missing, what items uh, is a good idea. Uh, I don't have anything for the dog other than the bowl, so I need to have a little bag for him. Uh, that's the great thing about uh, these kits. You can customize them based on what you need, what you think you need. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks uh, Bluefin for commenting. Hopefully the chat will show up here. And uh, that's about it. All right, see you guys next time.